Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Brigantine, New Jersey. And the reason why we are in Brigantine, New Jersey today, actually the entire reason I'm down here in the first place is I'm actually on vacation at my friend Chris's family's beach house. We've been having a fun time. It's been uh, about a day that I've been down here now. We've been doing some thrifting, going to some stores, doing some sightseeing, going to uh, the Jersey, Ocean City, New Jersey boardwalk this, uh, this evening. So having a fun time down here, but you guys know me. I love history, I love exploring. I love doing internet research because I am a nerd. That is that is what I do and that is what I love. So looking at the history of Brigantine and I come to find out, of course it dates back to the Native Americans. Apparently it dates back to the 1500s with the Lenape Indians who actually used to, uh, to vacation here. Basically they called it the Summer Playground, I believe is what they actually referred to Brigantine as. So it dates back to the 1500s with the Lenape Indians actually vacationing here and fishing here and uh, and being here on this island. And I wanted to show you guys something really interesting that sits right up here, supposedly. It's not been 100% verified, but supposedly right up here actually sits an old Indian burial ground. So I had to come out here and see this with my own eyes because, well, you guys know I, I, love, uh, I love a good cemetery. And even though there actually aren't any grave markers here or anything like that. It's still, it's still fascinated me. So I definitely wanted to take a look at this. We're actually here, I believe on 7th Avenue. Well, 7th Avenue slash Sheridan Avenue. I, well, I don't wanna get hit by a car. So 7th Avenue slash Sheridan Avenue. It kind of depends on what parts you're in. I think if you actually are kind of like down there, it's 7th, if you're here, it's Sheridan. I don't know what makes the difference. I'm not entirely sure, but we're between 8th and and 6th Avenue. So if you guys want to see this, and uh, we're here on the corner of Sheraton and, and Georgia. So there you go. Sheraton, Georgia here on Brigantine Island sits this circle right, right here. Of course, we're in Jersey, so there's plenty of, uh, plenty of traffic circles here, but supposedly right here is the site of an old Indian burial ground. Look at that. Right now, you're going to find a, uh, a fountain here. There aren't actually any historical markers, though supposedly the actual historical society does want to put up some historical markers here. That's what they were saying. I believe there are two historical markers at the moment, one talking about the old schoolhouse, one talking about the lighthouse. I've actually taken you guys to the Brigantine Lighthouse. It's pretty amazing. It's a fake lighthouse, but it has a really interesting history behind it. If you guys have not seen that video, I think it was from last maybe summer I shot that video. Definitely check it out. Really cool history. I got about the uh, the fake Brigantine Lighthouse. It used to be a, a police station and whatnot. So all kinds of historical markers about that. Again, the, the actual schoolhouse and the lighthouse, but other historical markers the Historical Society does want to put up. And one of the ones they want to put up is about this circle right here. It used to also apparently be, I believe, a um, courtyard to the Smith Hotel that I believe was actually um, demolished in 1926, I believe in, in eight, the 1850s, 1852, something like that. The, the Smith Hotel actually stood here, right? Right in this, this general area somewhere, not entirely sure exactly where, but somewhere in this area, the Smith Hotel, again, from like the 1850s, to I believe it was 1926, stood here, and it was a hotel for the, for the island, for visitors to the island. And this was the courtyard now it is a traffic circle and supposedly this might actually be the burial ground for native americans for lenape native americans who also used to vacation out here back in the day pretty awesome i definitely hope they do some research on that i hope they maybe i don't know if they should i'm not saying they should dig up they shouldn't they shouldn't you know rope this off and dig necessarily dig up and and desecrate the grays, if you will, but I don't know, maybe do some ground penetrating radar or something like that. I would love to know if this actually is 100% definitely the, the site of an Indian, an old Indian Native American burial ground. It's, it's supposedly, supposedly, rumor has it from what I was reading actually on the Historical Society's website, rumor has it, that is what this is. But I don't believe it's actually been verified. It's so pretty awesome, pretty crazy. I mean, just so much history, so much, so much just Atlantic 
coast, so much New Jersey, New Jersey beaches, or sorry, New Jersey shores. So much of the New Jersey shores actually date back to the times of Native Americans. Lots of Native American tribes would come out here. They do their fishing out here. They would they would vacation out here. They would just they would just come out here for a good time and to do what they had to do during the during the summer season. A lot of Native American tribes would be out here on the on the Jersey Shore and right here in Brigantine on Brigantine Island was the Lenape Indians who again used to come out here do the fishing do the vacationing do their do what they do what they do during the summer again the summer playground is what they actually called Brigantine Island and quite possibly right here right on this circle right here right, right on this traffic circle right here is the possible site of an old Lenape Native American Indian burial ground. I just had to come out here. I had to see this with my own eyes. I had to document this. If you guys know any more history on this, by all means, leave a comment down below. I did some research. I did some um, some uh, Googling research. Went to, again, the, the Brigantine Historical Society's website. Did some reading on that. Went to a couple other websites as well. That's how I found out about the Smith Hotel. They used to sit right here on this property somewhere in this general area. That's how I found out all about that. And that's how I found out about the Indian Native American Lenape burial ground that might be right, right there again on the corner of Sheridan and Georgia here in Brigantine. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I just love it out here. It's a beautiful, amazing island. Atlantic City is right, right over there, right? Literally right across the bridge. You go across the bridge and boom, you're in the heart of Atlantic City. It's definitely an interesting an interesting way that works. So you have such a busy, crazy place like Atlantic City, right on the other side of the bridge. You cross over onto Brigantine Island and it's so just calm and peaceful and relaxing. It's a very sort of laid back beach town, sorry, shore town, if you will. I keep saying I'm from, I used to go to the Delaware beaches. I'm a beach boy. I'm not a, I'm not a shore, shore kid. I don't know what, it, what do they call them? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a beach guy. I'm not a, uh, I'm not really a shore guy. I would come to the, I would come to the Jersey Shore every now and then when I was a kid, but for the most part, I was a I was a Delaware Beach boy when I was a when I was a kid. So I'm so used to saying beach, but anyway, it's just such a laid back shore town. Again, a couple blocks that way is the ocean, right over there, right where you see the houses end. That's literally the bay, right there. Such a again such a laid back, calm and peaceful town. It's amazing out here. I could just. I could just hang out here all day long. In fact, I'm I'm doing that. I'm hanging out here for the weekend for two days. I'll be hanging out here, just having a good time, relaxing. I'm, I'm loving it out here. But again, definitely a crazy, a crazy difference between a couple miles that way in Atlantic City and then over here in Brigantine. But all right, guys. So like I said, doing some research, doing some history. I was chilling at the house and I had to just Google the history of Brigantine. And when I found out that only like two blocks away from my friend's house was the possible site of a Native American Indian burial ground, I knew I had to come out here, document this, see this with my own eyes, bring you guys out here to see this, just because possibly right here, buried right maybe underneath us right now, right under the street, right under the circle, is a Native American burial ground. And hopefully someday, they actually get the historical plaque out here. Like I said, they were actually thinking about putting up some other historical plaques. There's only, there's only two right now, actually on Brigantine Island. They were gonna do one for this. There was a, there was the castle, the Brigantine Castle, which was this this amazing haunted attraction, which was down that down that way. I will do maybe a video on that someday. There was a lot of really interesting things here on Brigantine Island that they do need some more historical placards for. I, I would love to see one for the castle. I gotta do a I gotta do a video on that someday. Maybe I'll do a video on that with my friend Chris, who actually used to go to the castle back before I believe it was um, did it burn down? I think it burned down. It was either burned down or damaged by a storm. I want to say I think it was I think it actually burned down. So unfortunately, but um, anyway, maybe I'll do a video with him talking about the castle since he's actually been there. He was there when he was younger. Maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. But I would love to see some more historical markers here in Brigantine. Historical markers are always a good idea. I definitely promote historical markers. I'm a big big fan of them because it tells everybody about what actually happened in these different spots. And I'd love to see one right here talking about the possibility of a Native American Lenape Indian burial ground. Pretty crazy. And maybe also talking about the Smith Hotel that again sat in this area somewhere, this once being the actual courtyard to the hotel.
But all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Like I said, if you know any more information about this, by all means, leave a comment down below. I love involving you guys in these videos. I love getting information from you, video, from you, from you guys through these videos. So definitely comments down below. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. You can grab yourself retro rest up t-shirts, proceeds both in Spreadshirt and from Patreon to get up supporting the show, keeping the show going, bringing us out to interesting places like this, like possible Native American Indian burial grounds. All right, guys, so like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. And what should, what should today's hashtag be? You know, let's just, let's just hashtag Jersey Shore. If you watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag down below Jersey Shore. All right, guys, again, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Again, possible Lenape Indian burial ground. Right, right here, right underneath my feet. The possible resting place for who knows how many Native Americans. Possibly, maybe. Not fully documented. Maybe someday though. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Hold on, guys. So for those of you still watching, I have a little bit of a um, follow-up here. Don't usually put these at the end of the videos, but today I'm doing one. Just stopped into uh, to this house right here because as I was done filming, the owner actually came out and told me this crazy story about the guy who lives right over there. Apparently, he's been living there for 35 years. And when these guys moved into this house, he came over with a little Native American doll, an actual doll made from Native Americans and gave it to them as a good luck omen because supposedly these houses might actually be on the Native American burial ground, which makes complete sense when you think about it. I mean, if this, if this little area right here, this circle right here is possible Native American burial ground, then these houses could possibly be on Native American burial grounds as well. Pretty crazy. We're talking real life poltergeist here. If you guys have seen the movie Poltergeist, you know what I'm talking about. So pretty crazy, pretty awesome. And he actually let me see the doll. So I'm going to post on Instagram. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, definitely do that at Retro Rest Stop on Instagram. Follow me there. You can actually see a photo of the doll that this guy right here gave to the neighbors to help protect them. Pretty crazy, pretty just insane. Again, Native American burial ground, possibly right here. Real life, New Jersey, poltergeist, maybe, possibly, hopefully. The doll actually protects them. He says they haven't had anything weird happen. So I guess the doll's actually um, actually working. But all right, guys, so that is it. Crazy follow-up. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.